What's going on guys? Today I'm going to make a video how to make match grade uh, 300 blackout ammo. Uh, first thing we're going to do is uh, inspect the cases and we got federal cases that are trimmed down to 300 blackout and they've been uh, once fired through my rifle. Um, I got 10 cases right here that are exactly the same. Um, FC 2012. So first thing we're going to do is um, we're going to deprime them on our uh, Reading T7 uh, full length resize and at the end we should have something like this alright guys so I'm going to do step by step from beginning to end and hope you guys enjoy this video okay the cases are already lubed use the lube pad you can see it, RCBS. Uh, so now I want to just resize it. Usually I turn it a quarter of a turn and do it again. Make sure. So now it's deep primed and it's ready to go. Let's do that 10 more times. I mean, nine more times. Okay, once they're all resized, full length resized, I got a case gauge for 300 blackout from uh, Wilson. Let's see if it comes out. There you go. And I dropped the case in. As you can see, it's nice and flush. So, and it's not sticking past the second uh, second nut. Well, it is a little bit. So we're gonna definitely gonna trim all of them. I always trim these uh, cases all the time. So I wanna do that next. So I checked each one and they have been full length resized and they fit perfectly. And they fall right out. So those things are done. This is inexpensive. Definitely uh, worth getting if you're gonna reload. Um, now we're gonna go to the the trimmer which I have a cool little setup so here we go all right guys I'm gonna trim these uh, 300 blackout pieces takes out a few thousandths so I'll do that for the next 10 cases and go from there. Take it to the RCBS prep case uh, station. And we're gonna clean the, the, the flash hole as well. So now we got the flash hole. Let's turn this off. So we got the flash hole cleaned inside. I don't know if you guys can see it. And we'll clean the primer pocket. And make sure to remove the crimp if there's any left. So now it's nice and clean. Let's see if we get a good shot of it. Let's see if I get this thing to focus. There you go. So I removed the crimp and cleaned the primer pocket. So this thing's ready to go. 
So this uh, case is prepped and just got to do the next uh, nine of them. So let me do that and go to the next step. Alright, after I get done prepping the brass, as you can see the primer pocket's uh, clean. I removed the crimp and chamfer and deburr the mouth. Uh, the most important thing about accuracy is uh, cleaning out the flash hole. A lot of people don't do that. Uh, once you remove that as well, it gives you a uh, perfect ignition. Once the primer is striked, you give it evenly, uh, you know, ignition and burns the powder more evenly, and that causes, you know, that will cause a better uh, burn, which is more accuracy. That's what we're here to do. So. Now I weigh my case. This one is uh, 80, 84.2. So put that there. Next one, 0.1. As you see, I'm sure you guys get it. Uh, this one, 84.1. Um, once you prep the uh, brass, properly uh, you're gonna start seeing the same consistency in weight which is uh, not too bad Let's see if I get this thing two again and, oh we got a heavy one point four will be on this side and I'll see what this one is another heavy one all right, so as you can see, they're pretty close to each other within five grains, except for these two, 0.5 grains, except for those uh, two on the right. Um, you can use those as, uh, you know, ciders. So with these uh, five right here, I'll just load those up so I can show you how consistent um, with the powder and, and the projectile. So we're going to use... H110 as the powder and use some uh, Nosler 125 grain uh, ballistic tip. It's a good combination, good for hunting, self defense. So let's continue on. Alright, here's the 125 grain uh, nozzlers green tip so I do the same thing I write them down obviously it's not the the right uh, number but it's the same concept 124 point8 151.1 so that's what uh, 3.3 grains from each other. Oops. 24.8, same as that one. I'm trying to get five of the same ones. That one's pretty close with one tenth from each other. Yep. So that's four. Just need one more. Pretty accurate. I mean, I'm not using a you know ten thousand dollar you know scale or anything like that, but this will work. These are like one twenty four point eight to point nine, one tenth from each other. So that would definitely work. So let's put these these rounds together. And we'll give you, and then we'll see what the weight is after once the primer and powder and the projectiles put together. All right, guys. I usually use the Redding T7 to prime my cases, but I have the large primer. For some reason, I can't find the small one. So I'm gonna revert to my leaf press and just uh, use the small uh, rifle primer and just do it from there. As you can see, 
It's all set up and ready to go. I'm using a writing a number 10 uh, shell holder for for these cases. So here we go. Okay, once I got the primers set into the cases, I double check to make sure they're nice and flush. What you can do is just put it on the table and make sure it doesn't wobble. Usually if it's not seated all the way down, it'll, it'll just fall. That's one quick way to do it when I just put your thumb over it. So these, ca these cases are ready to go. get ready for the powder and seat the bullet. So we're, we're using H110 and we're using 17 grains for this load and we'll go from there. Now I just got to get, it's kind of hard to do it one-handed. So, use the tripod. All right, 17 grains, just put them in. The charge master is pretty, pretty accurate. Uh, very consistent. At 100 rounds, I'd probably get maybe two or three that are overcharged, maybe by one tenth of a grain. But it's pretty accurate. Um, the only bad thing about this, I wish I had two of them. So it'll be number two. Okay, now it's time to seat the bullet into the case. And we have a case. Here we get it. That's overall length, which is 2.105, and we're good to go. All right, I got these finished rounds. Now we're gonna weigh each one and see how consistent they are with each other. 229.4. One tenth from each other. Oh, this one's dead on. So within one tenth 
from each other, which is uh, which is great. So you should have no problem getting uh, the same accuracy as the match grade ammo that you can buy over the counter. I prefer my own because uh, to them uh, they're pushing them out, and I've seen a lot of bad things with factory ammo now because they're just pushing them out. Um, just like anything else, uh, consistency is accuracy, and that's my video on. Uh, match grade 300 blackout. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. I'm using my Canon camera, so it, it was very difficult to to focus on. But I I believe that the picture quality is a lot better than my other camera, which is uh, my Sony camera. I use a lot of this camera for long range shooting, and it worked really well. But I like the Canon because the lens is a lot clearer and um, the picture is really great. So. Just look at that.